Rollerbladers, skateboarders, and bikers are looking for a new place to hit the pavement as the Lincoln Skate Park Association brings awareness for a new project they're working on. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson shows us what the skate park could look like. The idea of a $2.5 million skate park was the center point of the Lincoln Skate Park Association's open house Sunday afternoon. LSA President Phil Bircher says today's meeting was the first step to informing residents on the need for more designated areas for roller athletes. The goal is to start the conversation on fundraising and design ideas. The people who gathered were all very passionate about the growth of roller sports. For me, it's about being creative, being different, expressing yourself. I feel like skateboarding for me has taught me a lot about life lessons. The whole idea of having an activity that has no rules or boundaries to me makes it not a sport anymore and makes it an art. Attendees say a new skate park would help build relationships within the community and bring in new people to the area. This is a place where these anybody can go and feel included. So really that's what it's about is making the community stronger and hopefully making the community bigger by, by inviting people in from around the country. Maybe we have those regional skateboard competitions or maybe we even get a little national thing going. Bircher says they've had a couple conversations with the city about their proposed 35,000 square foot skate park. He says they seemed receptive and supportive. The tentative location site is the area of South Haymarket Park. The next steps for the LSA are to gather signatures for their petition in support of more skate parks, then start fundraising. Now moving forward, these plans can start getting more developed and we can start just basically moving forward from where we are because we, we are at this jumping off point right now and I think from here on out, good things are going to happen. Reporting in Lincoln, Mackenzie Johnson, Channel 8 News.